Yo, how's it going everybody? As always, my name is LL and you're watching NFT Tuesday episode number 15. And it has been a pretty interesting week. One of the biggest news that basically went down was that Nike decided to purchase the NFT fashion um, you know, company or a team called RTFKT, which have done, you know, sneakers, they have done collab arts. And most recently, they obviously did the Clone X collection, which I did indeed recommend you to get it. And it's been pretty well received so far, currently sitting at 6.19 Ethereum. And the minting price was at 2 Ethereum. And, and, and not all have been minted, by the way. So you still have the ability to also buy the mint vials. Uh, they are at crazy prices. I bought mine at 2.5 and I bought another one at 9.9. .9. So I was like really stressed out yesterday and never made that big of a purchase. But the fact of the matter is there's so few left here and people are eventually going to be minting out um, their uh, clones. So these are inherently just going to be going more up in price because the supply is getting smaller. Maybe it tops out at 20 Ethereum and maybe more down the line. But the clones is something you can still buy in the second market because you're going to have your own kind of like, um, we could call it a land piece or a room which you can like have your clone on. There's gonna be a customization, changing body parts, and all the Nike is basically gonna be offering to you. And they can get you into any metaverse, basically. They have so much like band, brand uh, leverage. So this is a big thing. But uh, let's move into our first and only sponsored segment of this week, and that is Metal Slavs, which is a collection of 9,000 545 unique full body avatars reference from uh, Slavish culture from the Eastern Communist bloc. The Gopnik way of life. And this is actually very cool art style in the sense that it's not really mimicking anything existing. It has its like clear distinctive art, which makes it stand out from the rest. And I don't think there has been anything Slavic related released in the NFT space, at least nothing too big for me to notice it. So this is pretty cool. And they have a pretty solid roadmap here. And this is not me saying because I'm sponsored. By the way, I am always have freedom to say anything I want. I want one about, uh, about the sponsored segments. But um, there's going to be a lot of airdrops. So basically, the OG holders will be eligible for surprise item airdrops in the form of NFTs. And they will be tradable and will possess utility in the upcoming Slavic metaverse. And this will include vehicles, pets, and even houses. So we're talking about some type of a equivalent of a land asset. And that's a pretty interesting uh, model. And all these seasonal NFT items will be displayable on the single page on our website. Holders will be able to log in with their Web3 wallet, aka MetaMask, and others. Check their collection, Gopniks, cars, pets, and items in a gallery like fashion. And avatar customization is also going to be happening in future. That is something that has not been used very many NFT sets. And that's something that a lot of people probably want to do uh, to keep their NFT more refreshed. And they can change the clothing or items inside them. And they can update their profile picture so they don't get bored of that one same design. So it can basically evolve. And um, that is very interesting. And they're going to be building out also uh, all types of different games. Uh, holders and holder wannabes will be able to engage in social media driven games and puzzles that will reward the most hardworking and cutting participants with big prizes in form of NFT airdrops. And uh, they are going to be released on Ethereum. I'm presuming that they are going to be doing a lot of the airdrops on Polygon's side. That's what a lot of these um, existing and current projects are doing. They are issuing all the you know, NFT drops in Matic because you can do cheap transactions and etc. So that's kind of like, because claiming fees can be kind of high and a lot of these secondary airdrops as NFTs don't tend to have a very high price. So sometimes the minting cost can be more than the actual NFT. So the Polygon's uh, solution is very, very good. 
And then they're gonna be doing their own token. This has been also another model that's becoming more and more popular. I just hope that the NFT, uh, sorry, the ERC20 token is going to be happening on outside of Ethereum because I don't wanna be claiming a token on Ethereum. It's very expensive and providing liquidity. So hopefully it will be on Polygon um, most likely. And then there's gonna be a DAO. And there's also, um, you know, profiles here with LinkedIn um, links as well. So in case you wanna look into these people. So these are real docs team here, um, which is very, very good and reassuring. And definitely check it out. And it's gonna be releasing soon. I'm gonna be having out the, uh, the date somewhere on the description because I don't remember when it was. But uh, moving on, we have uh, one of the things I talked about on the thumbnail, and that is Walking Dead. And Walking Dead yesterday released, uh, revealed a new game, which is going to be published by Gala Games. And this is actually a pretty neat looking game. We don't have like actual gameplay here, um, but this is going to be taking place in the Walking Dead universe. Uh, here's some screenshots. So this is going to be from, um, you know, helicopter view, top to bottom uh, type of, uh, you know, action game survival game looks pretty neat and there's so many things you can do in this game probably once all the features come out and they have now opened up land sales and these work in a very similar way to the other land sale that they have ongoing for mirandas and basically the way it's going to be working is that by the way there's not really many left i bought one common which is like 1.1 ethereum and Uncommon is like 1.7 Ethereum, 2.7 Ethereum. So these are very expensive and they are priced in Gala, which is really high right now in its individual price. But the perks that they are gonna be giving out is that they're gonna be able to have your own structures and provide lands. And basically um, when people like kill zombies or kill other players and stuff like that, every time that happens on your land piece, you are going to be rewarded. So that is pretty cool. So these are going to be passive income. And when is the game going to be launching? It's going to be down the line probably, but I mean, they still have some, you know, we have screenshots here. So I assume the game engine is done and we are already kind of like far away here, but um, we don't know the exact date. I want to say next year, maybe in summer or earliest probably. But um, I'm very excited for this. This could be a very good model, very fun game, survival, already known IP. This is one of the more promising play to earn games that could basically come out uh, next year or you know early 2023. Moving on, we have Kate Perry doing a drop on Theta. This is tomorrow. And I'm not sure how I feel about this drop. I mean, this is kind of for Kate Perry fans. And there's going to be like um, um, going to be one auctioned item and then there's going to be two limited items which have 2,500 um, supply. These are like animated. This doesn't look too amazing. Um, just like different pictures here or something kind of random to be honest. Um, and then there's the some type of a star thing. But um, yeah, and then there's a one which is has infinite supply and this thing in the light is $25. Other ones are $100 and 5% discount in T-Fuel. Um, I haven't participated on any theta drops before, so I, I don't know. This is not exactly something that is going to be flipping at massive prices unless you win the auction, I guess. And maybe down the line it becomes more valuable. I'm not sure. Um, moving on, we have... Um, imp nfts and this one is very unique very standing out from rest of the mold i kind of like it has a very cheap price on pre-sale and the launch price is not too bad pre-sales in three days and main launch at 21st and these are animated as you can see they kind of look uh, very good um and some of them can be utilized very well for um as profile pictures and they actually have really good roadmap here as well so um there's going to be uh hand modeled in vr so that's going to be very interesting um there's going to be super ball so these are like doodles or something um then you are also able to basically get 
like a real 3D model of these unlockables. It will basically get out the file, the 3D file for your asset. And this can be basically imported into any project that you own. I guess they're gonna be, you know, uh, Unreal Engine or something like that. And that also opens so much doors for possible integrations in other metaverse projects. That's the most important aspect for your NFT uh, PFP profile picture style NFT project to have metaverse compatibility. That is super important. If you don't have it, you're not gonna make it. And here are some color palettes where you can like try out stuff um, and different variations, how actual things look in different colors. I think that's kind of cool. And, um, you know, you can look into more of this stuff, but webcam filters, original video files, AR stuff, a um, lot of cool things. So this webcam thing is really cool in my opinion, actually, because I could do shows with this and use my, like, this is my avatar or something on my shows. So th that's, and the, here's a, also a picture, like how these are basically made. The VR, AR stuff is just a, like a very good bonus on getting more stuff in. But this is one that I'm really looking into. And next up, some projects on other chains. We have one on Cardano called Meta Dams. And actually, um, in general, Cardano doesn't have like the biggest artist here. Like a lot of the times, the art is not really that good in Cardano NFTs. And they don't have a lot of 3D NFTs. So the, this is one of the reasons why I think this could do really well. And not only that, they are building out a metaverse. So each character basically gets an entry ticket for possibility owning lands. And basically one parcel is tokenized and owned by a single holder. And golden ticket systems. And the more you mint, more you're gonna be getting parcels basically. So, um, and they are only priced at 55 Cardano, so pretty cheap, or was it 45 Cardano? And they have a pretty good uh, roadmap here, a lot of things that they're gonna be building out in future. And Cardano is just starting, guys, in a lot of ways. Um, I do have my skeptic thoughts about Cardano in general, but um, where's the price? I think it was 55 ADA or somewhere, somewhere aside. But anyhow, um, a lot of DeFi is going to be launching in Cardano, and I think that's going to be also picking up interest on the NFTs in there. And our last project here on the list is called Danger Rally. This is going to be releasing on Solana. Reminds me of, you know, um, DuckTales a bit. And there's going to be only 7,777 of these and priced at 0 0.77 Sol. Very affordable, in my opinion and also not too high supply. And the art is really cool. Um, I like the kind of uh, Disney angle here. It stands out a bit from the Disney format, obviously, but this could be really big. I'm having really, really bullish thoughts about this one. I'm gonna meet a couple of these. And they have a pretty good uh, roadmap. So they're gonna be building out a bunch of different games. Um, there's gonna be where, where a mobile app apparently as well. So. Um, and look at this roadmap. This is so cool and very well done. And here's like a quack pot. And this is basically the first game. This is going to be releasing uh, presumably on January. And um, then there's merch giveaways. Look at these vinyl concept arts. These look pretty impressive. So they have a really good art direction here, what they're going to be building. Chess game. Um, and here's a metaverse, 3D assets. So um, this is very promising Solana project. And Solana has been doing more and more better as time has gone on. And oh, there's a roadmap here as well, kind of showing up a bit of the things here. So I, I'm really, look like the, really liking this. Uh, the team is not doxxed, but um, I mean, I guess there are still internet personalities which have been around in the internet for some time, at least apparently. But um, I'm definitely going to be minting these and anything metaverse related, I'm just always, you know, anything that has a very ambitious project, I'm into. But that's pretty much my rundown for this week. Let's see if there's going to be interesting picks next week as well. Obviously, last week I did a video about the land sales. There's going to be a lot of those coming out. So make sure you keep tabs on it. Join my communities, obviously, and we're going to be keeping you posted when these things are going to be happening. But thanks for watching. I will be seeing you guys on the next video. Cheers.